Welcome! I previously installed this Renogy Rover Elite MPPT charge controller in my 2021 KZ Escape hatch. In this video I'm going to be installing this Renogy BT2 Bluetooth module. This will connect up to the Rover Elite and give me smart capabilities. So if you want to see the video where I installed the charge controller, I'll put a link below to that. And also if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase these products, I'll put a link to them in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's take a quick look in the box. There's not much in here. We have the Bluetooth module, we have a manual, a warranty card, and a sticker. So this has a long cord on it. It has an RJ45 connector. This uses RS485 serial protocol. And here's the module. So this does not come with mounting screws. I have some small screws here. This is zip tied together. This is a long cable. I don't need it that long. So I'm going to mount this and then I'll plug it into the module and then we'll check out the app. The app it uses is the Renogy DC Home app and that's on iOS or Android. Okay, I have it installed. You can see the power light is on. I'll have to admit, I heard a little crack when I put that screw in. I might have over tightened it. So be careful with that. Not a big deal. You could even probably use sticky tape to put that on. And then I let enough wire loose so this is sitting down and not hanging on it and tugging on it. I plugged it in here on the bottom left. So this can connect up to different equipment. You could connect it to batteries, inverters, and other Renogy equipment that supports it. So let's head into the app and get it linked up. Okay, so I'm on my iPad and I'll search for Renogy. So here we have Renogy DC Home. I'll hit get. I'll open it. It wants to use my location. I'll allow that, I may revoke it later. I'll say allow while using the app. It would like to send notifications, I'll allow that. It wants to track activities across apps, I'll say don't allow that. Now it has login or sign up, I'll say sign up. I'm gonna run through the sign up and then I'll cut back to the app after I'm signed up. Okay, now it says DC Home would like to use Bluetooth, I'll say okay. I'll hit plus in the upper right, I'll say add devices. It says make sure Bluetooth is on, the device is running properly. It says found devices, I'll hit confirm. And it looks like it's connected up. So that was super easy to install. Let's tap on it. And here it says estimated state of charge is 72%. So I currently have a lead acid battery in here. I don't have a shunt installed. So it's probably using the voltage to guess the charge. And then we have solar volts, solar amps, solar power. So I'm not producing solar right now, it's in the shade. I'll probably pop back into this app and cut some video in showing what it looks like when it's actually doing some charging. Now it does have stats here. It says total energy produced is 0.95 kilowatt hours. We have the battery temperature here. That is not correct. I don't have the probe connected to it. And we have the controller temperature and that is probably correct. So if I click on the dots in the upper right, we have settings, let's look here. So it looks like here we can change the battery parameters. So when I install lithium battery, which I'm going to be doing sometime, I can change that to lithium there. Then it looks like there's no advanced parameters here. Let's click on the I. And this just has explanations. Let's go to history, and this just has some stats on our battery. So if you get different pieces of equipment, you can connect this up. Now you can have each piece of equipment have its own BT2 module, or you can get a little box so you can connect them all together. Okay, so it's the next day, and you'll notice my screen is a little smaller. I installed this on my phone. So you can see controller here. Now if I tap on the top of that, it says change name. So I'll hit cancel there. But if you want to view the stats, you actually want to click lower. So don't tap on the text. So now we have the screen up for the solar charge controller. We have the battery info. It's at 100% estimated. And then if we look below, we have solar info. It says 16 volts, 0.31 amps, and solar power is 5 watts. So it's very overcast right now. I'm surprised I'm getting any solar charging. I checked in about 15 minutes ago and it's getting 15 to 20 watts of charging. And this is a 100 watt panel. But it is working and it is showing how much solar charging I'm getting right now. Looks like if we scroll down, we get a little bit more detail. We're getting 5.28 watts of charging. So I'll check back into this on a regular basis. I'll take note of how much charging I'm getting on a sunny day. And if I ever notice that dipping, it might be an indication that I need to go up and clean my solar panel. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.